Fighting EX Lair. Welcome back to Pilar, Random Rook Reviews. I'm going to talk about Fighting EX Lair. So this game came out in 2018 as a continuation of the EX series from Street Fighter Alpha EX. Except this game doesn't have any of the Street Fighter characters, which in my opinion really hurts the overall experience. You do have um, characters from the EX series. Rosso, Daron, Garuda, Kari, uh, and some new characters, Shiraz, Dr. Dark, Alan, uh, Pullum, Sharon, Shadow Geist, he's called Jack, I think it's Sea Jack, right? Or Cracker Jack? So Jack, Sanane, or Sanane, Hakuto, Hayate, Blair, Colomania and area. Terry Bogard is DLC. I thought Terry Bogard came with the game when I got it, so it was unfortunate. And after playing it, it really wasn't worth me spending more money on, so I just skipped Terry Bogard. Again, the gameplay, everything works about this game. Uh, it has a simplified, like, special move system, so everything kind of uses back towards to execute the special moves you can change it uh, back to like classic mode so it's more of the half circles hadouken style i believe um, it works okay and it's easy to combo in that stuff and back towards really quick in a button it's not charged it's just back towards so not a charge just back towards we'll do your your special so it does make things a little bit easier to combo um played through most of these characters a couple times the game is fun, but it it's just lacking. Something about it's just kind of lacking. So we're gonna do some gameplay here with Blair. I mean, I do like it. It's just the worst of the Alpha series. I think EX Street Fighter EX Alpha Three on PS2 was even a little bit better. Because really, the Street Fighter characters crossed over with this, I guess, universe. So where the characters are from really kind of made the game a cool thing they're still cool characters but like being introduced the way they were like their standalone game I don't know fighting's pretty basic got your standard heavy punch kind of fierce stuff going on roundhouse buttons now you have this like Call it a deck. You see those icons at the bottom left, bottom right. So, of course, finding each character's side it has like rampage, break, frenzy, speed up. So, you saw me pick aggro for her. There's different things you can mess with. I'm not too familiar with how that even really plays in too much. I guess I might have to do with your gauge because the game is easy enough where I didn't have to bother, you know, looking into that stuff. And being a 2018 game. I don't think I've ever gone online to see if anyone's playing this game. I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe not. Maybe they are. Uh, it also defaults to a three round system. You have to win three rounds versus two, which is kind of odd. Definitely not the most difficult game. Sometimes AI can be frustrating like in any fighting game. Keep spamming that low grab kick. <laughs> so that's specials. So the 10 hit combo there. So it's fun to get those. Again, maybe a little bit on the easy side most of the time. Uh, again, this is the first match, of course, so it's going to be easier. You don't want to just ramp up right away. But if you like the EX series, I think you'll like this game. I just can't say it's the best of the series or a huge or like a great game. It's just a solid game. It could have been better, I think. Uh, I don't know if you need all those icons and stuff. Maybe there's more depth to it if you start using those things. But the problem is, not a problem, but the thing is, you don't need to use those things. Especially against AI or running through the story. If you're a Street Fighter veteran or know how to play fighting games, you're going to do just fine with what you know right off the bat. The graphics look good, though. All the character models look pretty good, although... They kind of have a bit of a generic feel. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's cleaner than the 
like the old or pixelated digitized versions that I'm used to but it works and I think it does look good overall we got Skullomania here doing a Skullomania stuff and the, the cast of characters is diverse enough although when they back towards system for like all the specials kind of makes them feel a little less unique a little samey what play style um, some are different. I think Hayate is probably the best character in the bunch because I know people use him for speedruns. I think I did for the speedrun for this. But there's different styles you can use. Like I like Blair alright, Sharon. So I played most of the characters. I think I played through all the characters, at least on maybe easy mode. Go back to character select. And you have a decent size roster, it's not the, the worst. So, like, Garuda seems underpowered in this game. To me, he was very, like, I thought OP in um, the other EX games. Not like OP, it's just this one, he's not quite as fluid. But he does have his uh, spammy kick. It took me a second to find it, it's like his back kick. He has his dive and his spikes and all that stuff. But not my favorite character in this game. And I did like him when he was initially like introduced. Yeah, there's this kick I used to spam a lot. <laughs> and like I said, hi I think I think probably is the overall best character maybe in the game. For like playing against the computer at least, you know. Online is always a different story. And the specials look decent in the game. So, I guess out of 10, I would give this game like a solid 7.5 out of 10. Maybe a 7. I want to give it a 7 because it didn't come with Terry Bogard, and I thought it did for whatever reason. And I think that would have helped, but just having one KOF crossover is not enough. So, and I, I don't have Terry to show you. I'm sure you can find them online, but it just wasn't worth the purchase the way the game kind of played out. So yeah, not a 7.5. I want to take it down to a, a solid 7 because everything works. You have a decent sized roster, the graphics look pretty good, and the gameplay is solid enough. So I will give Fighting EX Layer a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.